Hello everyone, and it's another video. It's not a Fiat 500 video today. It is the BMW 318D. So, um, I'm gonna get the tires done today because obviously we're trying to work out what's making the noise. Now, let me explain where we're at. We, if you follow the videos from the last couple of months, you'll notice that I put some winter tires on and I'm getting a humming noise, possibly from the rear. Now, Google research indicates it's probably one of three things, which is, it's your winter tires, it's the bearings, or it's the diff. So, um, I've decided, when I put the video up, obviously a number of people have come up with comments um, saying, I'll oh, swap the rear tires for the fronts and then take it for a drive and see, see what you get. So that was one option. The other option is just to go ahead and get the diff replaced. Now, bear in mind this car was ragged when it was stolen. It could well be that the diff was gone. Um, anyway, long story short, is I can't do anything because even though the this has been sat here now for a couple of months and even though the tire went on, um, as you can see, it's completely flat. Now, I have done a video on this one and I will post it soon, but I have got a inflatable uh, tire inflator, which is run on battery power. Now, I just need a small amount of air, 20 PSI for example, just to get me something like 300 yards down the road to a tire dealer who can swap these out for some summer tires, which are in here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get the car started and then I'm going to plug this in and we are going to get going to the dealer and we are going to try the tyres first and if we still get the noise then this will go to a BMW specialist to probably have the diff replaced. So let's, um, let's get going on this. It is cold today, very cold. It's like three degrees at the moment. Okay. Let me shut that door. Okay. started so that's good now let's get the tire inflator on and let's get over um, how much fuel have I got? Oh, I've got plenty of fuel let's get some heat in as well Right, turn that off. Let's uh, go and sort that out and uh, I'll get Okay, so we are back from the uh, tire place, tire dealer, whatever you want to call them, and the Bridgestones are now on.
taking it for a drive again. We're still getting the humming noise, so it is not the tyres. However, what I've done is I've driven it straight to an independent BMW specialist, which is down the road from me, and he kindly took this straight out onto a dual carriageway. Now, the noise increases after about 30 and gets louder and louder. So we know it's not the tires, so it's either the diff or the bearing. The mechanic has stated that he believes it to be the, and answers on a postcard when you're ready. He says it is the off side, sorry, no, near side. So this one here, wheel bearing. He said it's coming from the left hand side, therefore it's likely to be a wheel bearing. It's not gonna be the differential because that would be like a central sound and he's put his money on the bearing. So the car is booked in to have the bearing done on it. Now, unfortunately, we are talking a good few weeks away. So, this is now gonna have to sit here until that gets done. So, you're watching this video now, uh, and we will, it's a couple of weeks away, but by the magic of YouTube, we will fast forward and hopefully it will be at the dealer or the independent dealer getting done. A couple of hours work, he reckons. And um, we should have a totally fixed and running 318D. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how we get on. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far. While I've got you, I just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel so you can see all of the other videos that I've got in the past from all of the other cars that I've done, mainly Fiat's. And obviously there's plenty more projects also to come in the pipeline. So hit that subscribe button for a weekly video from me. And uh, also while I've got you, to hit the like button as well, just down there. Uh, it all helps to improve the algorithms and uh, gives me some more subscribers as well. So uh, yeah, thank you for your time and uh, back on with the video. All right, it's 8.30 in the morning on a Friday. Time to get this. Let's make sure that the tires are stayed up. Time to get this to the BMW specialist. Oh no. Just realised I walked all the way to the car and I've left the part upstairs. But it is time to get this to the specialist and get this sorted. Right, it helps to remember the part. We are replacing the bearing, which is this massive heavyweight centre bearing. So that is hopefully going to cause. Uh, the car to run now in well just get it back running and run smoothly so let's get going okay so it's finally made its appearance we are done now with the rear wheel bearing um, there's a delay in this video uh, it should have gone out Saturday but long story short is whilst he's trying to sort this rear end out, um, he's had to shear off a bolt and then he's had to order it. So the car stayed in for the weekend whilst awaiting said bolt to arrive. Um, it's 150 quid lighter for the labour costs to have the bearing done. I decided to have it done at a B&W independent garage because they've got the tools, because obviously the complexity potentially of the rear end and everything, um, 
he knew what he was doing um, and has the various tools that, that needs to get everything off so um, yeah and I've run it and we are all good so yes not a differential problem just a rear wheel bearing so you would say that this car is complete it's not however not quite obviously I've not done any valeting on it we've still got to sort out things like this but that's not really a massive issue uh, noticed it's got to have its MOT which I booked in for tomorrow there's a slight um, issue at the moment whereby I think the auto stop starts coming up with an exclamation mark when you turn off stop start it's still coming up but when you pull up to a junction that's when it comes up so it's almost indicating that it wants to kick in now normally I think it's because the battery's low so I'm gonna put this on charge for a number of hours because obviously this has been pretty much doing nothing and if it has been doing anything it's been doing short runs so I'm gonna do that and the other one was a DPF symbol that popped up um, as well um, yeah so the DPF filter symbol again this might just need a blast in and that because it's actually gone it, it when I drove it here it, it disappeared but I'm obviously mindful that that could come back so uh, yeah so I can either put in some DPF cleaner or I can just give this a blast down the motorway and see if that clears it. So I'm not overly worried. The car seems to perform fine. The only problem potentially is going to be MOT tomorrow if that flags up. But I'm not really sure on that. But it's not at the moment showing on the dash. So that's where we're at with the car. Uh, I'm still probably going to plan to keep this for a while. Give it a run. Make sure that everything is working as it should make sure that if i do go to sell it that there is no hidden problems it runs really nice i'm really uh, happy with the drive of it and um yeah it's better than the alfa romeo giulietta that i'm driving at the moment and uh i think yeah for what two and a half grand it's um Obviously, that's out of the door before I've had the exhaust and the um, wheel bearing done and the tyres. But, yeah, that's where we're at. So, that's where we're at with the 3 Series BMW. And that's going to be it for today because I'll get this out and then we can do another video probably in a couple of weeks when it's had its MOT and I've sorted everything else out. So... Yeah, mm, trying to think. If you can think of any other way, potentially you can clean a DPF without having to actually get someone out to run and clean it thoroughly. Um, I'll let let me know. Obviously, Red X do this DPF cleaner, which I've heard mixed reports about. Some say it's cleared their fault, others not so sure. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think, because. Uh, it probably will need it, 167,000 miles. It already has had one done, if you can remember back a couple of videos ago with the paperwork. So it's already had one. But yeah. Oh, and the final part is I need to get that steering wheel done because that's obviously a chunk of it is missing. So that's something else to do. As usual, the thumbs up would be really appreciated. Leave your comments in the box below hit the bell notification so that you don't have to wait to know when the video is coming. You'll, it'll just be automatically be sent to your phone as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, until next time, I think that's going to be it. Appreciate you all guys for watching. We've now smashed through 800. Thanks to Paul at Love500 and I think just general algorithms on YouTube as well. So, yeah, we are not far off the thousand sub mark and then yeah that's just all good all good it's all coming together so yeah until next time thank you all for watching thanks for your patience on the slightly delayed video of this one and i'll catch you all again very very soon